A distraught doctor, overwhelmed by what's happened, cries out. Bahrain's largest hospital has become a place of shock and of anger, with medical staff asking how all of this could be considered by anyone as a proportionate use of force. These people were protesting peacefully when the brutal police crackdown began. Now the hospital beds are full, patients with shot wounds to their bodies, injuries caused by rubber-coated steel bullets and others who were beaten with rifle butts. It's a massacre by all means. People are shot because they are innocent. They haven't done anything. They were just protesting. What is this? We are, we are, we are, we are in, in 21st century. I mean, we are in a civilized country. We are civilized people. These people were only demonstrating. And at the end of the day, they were shot dead. The victims here include the medical staff themselves who'd been treating people in a triage tent set up near Pearl Roundabout. Consultant Dr. Sadik al ekri says he was severely beaten and left for dead. Did you tell them you were a doctor? Yeah, but they don't listen. And I was wearing the, the uniform for the doctors. You know that one with the, with the, with the crescent. Then they tie me and they attack me while I'm tying. Then I don't know how many people, maybe 10, maybe 20. I don't remember. I'm, I'm hearing from everywhere. I was hearing hit by sticks, by legs. I don't know. I don't know what they. Then they, they told me, get up or we'll kill you. Nurses were also beaten. I went there as volunteer there. What's this? What is this? This is the democracy. This is democracy. My, I don't know. This is Bahrain. I don't know. In the hospital mortuary, the bodies of the dead. One man is missing part of his skull. Doctors say he was beaten to death. Two others died after being peppered with shotgun bullets. Ahmed Botaki comes to pay his respects to his younger brother, Mahmoud, dead at just 22. They mourn, many are angry. But all say something has changed here these deaths will never be forgiven. Al Jazeera, Bahrain.